So let's go ahead and clean this piston up and I will get a lip seal and we will install it on here and we'll go ahead and change this one out. Guys, as you can see, we matched the seal up with this one. It's a little bit flowing, as you can see around the edges here. They make a Transax and stuff like that, two different versions. They make a version that's just like to help lube everything up and uh, make your valves and stuff work better. Or it makes some that can seal your, make your seals flail out. That's what's been used in this one. The reason you got to change all your seals, which it kind of just band-aids it. It helps renew them a little bit too, the harder ones, but just temporary fix. Sometimes it's a fix, sometimes it's not. Well, let me go ahead and remove this guy. We're going to match him up and uh, finish wiping off his piston and spraying it off. What we're going to do is uh, put assembly lube on these and then insert them. And when you insert these, you want to make sure they go in the right way. So they go just like so. I don't know if you can see. That's the lip seal. See the lip is down. They go just like that. The lip, when it pushes up, it moves upwards. And then it helps pull it back down. So you want to make sure you always unseal your lip seal. Same way they come off. Just like this one, as you can see. Right there. Okay, we done got this one matched up. The other one, we're going to go ahead and put a similar lube on the seal real good. And go to the next step, which is putting it onto the piston. Guys, next step is pretty much lube it up with your similar lube pretty good on the lip seals. Now, you probably will use a lip seal tool. And you want to make sure that they're facing down this way. What it does, sometimes I go in if you're lucky, but most of the time, they don't. As you can see, they poof out too much. They poof out too much. Now you got a little check ball right down in here too. You want to make sure that's good. The piston don't matter which way it goes in. It goes in either way you want it to. But I got a little tool for this. Let's see if I can find it. It's just basically a filler gauge. It's floating around here on this bench somewhere. Which is right here. You can take it and shove it down in it. Put your side you want to first. Put pressure on it as you work around. Sometimes you have to do it both sides. But as you can see, it dropped down some. Now you gotta do around the edges here too. They make longer ones of these. They make bigger ones of these too. It just depends. What you want to do is massage the whips to seal till it goes down. All the way around, just keep working it. You don't want to rush it because you don't want to tear it. But as you work it down, here to go. If you can keep keep it level, it will go. Trust me. Just have to keep working it around. They make longer ones of these too. So whoops. I can keep pressure on it. There we go. Installed. 
You just want to take your time with it. You don't want to rush it or put too much pressure on it while you're doing it. Don't want to risk tearing your seal, so it's best to just have plenty of patience and take your time when installing your piston. Okay. You wipe it out with a wag. This drum, it's in little bad shape. You can see what the belt's been wound into it. But it's actually debris mostly. And we're going to take some sandpaper and stuff and clean that up on ice. That should do good for this overhaul. It ain't going in nothing that's going to be hot watered. It's going in a 36 Studebaker, this transmission is. Now, next step is your cushion spring right here. Well, your cushion plate. don't know why I call it spring. And then we go crutch, crutch, crutch. Now we had a, you always want to soak your crutches in transmission fluid. We got them took care of. Now we got cushion plate. As you see here, this is a cushion. Now, as soon as you put the cushion in, we had this when we took it out. Don't want to do that, that was a no-no. Spacer, right here. You can tell here different from the cushion spring by it has all the teeth all the way around it. And the cushion spring does not. Now there we go. Probably why this pack had too much pry in it. It's missing a spacer. Then crutch. Spacer, crutch, spacer, crutch. Now, notice we are missing a spacer. That's why this pack, when we took its drum apart in the video, had too much play. Well, we can't assemble it with another crutch stacked on it. We can't. As you can see, if we put this in here, the way it's supposed to be, and hits up there at the spring, we have way too much play. We can't do that. We're going to have to get... A space of, to go between this crutch. So, let me look around my parts bins, see if I got one. Let me take one out. Take one with me. Let's see if I match one up. Be right back, guys. Okay, as you can see, I went ahead and found us another parts spacer. I don't want any parts transmissions. Good thing keep parts playing around. Especially for people that build them and leave stuff out like okay, they left out a space on top of the cushion spring spacer crutch spacer Crutch. Much better. Much better. Much better. And locking plate. Now, once you get that, we'll go ahead and take your spring and we install your spring. It goes in the same way it came out most of the time. It's pretty easy and not a pain. Sometimes you have to use your screwdriver or something. It ain't too bad though.
Ain't too bad at all. And it snaps in just like so. Then you can take your rubber hammer and tap on it just a little bit, make sure it's seated in good. Now, you can check your, take your fill gauge and check, but that feels pretty good. Real tight. It'd be worth checking. But. Once you check and see with a fill gauge what you got, you can uh, pretty much go from there. Okay, that's pretty much got that. As you can see, we got it loading right here. It's a little tight, but you want them a little tight, but not too loose. We have way too much looseness. I think that might be a little bit too tight. If it is, you can take a, one of your spacers out between your crutch and sand it with sandpaper. And get a little bit more prey if you need to. And you can order different thicknesses spacers too. But we're going to measure it and see what we got. Now, that would be on another video coming up, hopefully, if I don't forget to record that. Okay, guys, once you check your clearances, another tip is you can line these splines up right here manually, just kind of straight. When you go and install it, it makes it easier. Next, you want to put in your spring basket. Go inside, you use your tool, same way you took it off, press it down, and uh, put your C-Crip back on it. Okay guys, this is what it looks like when it's fully installed and compressed with the clip on it. As you can see, we did a good job loading the drum. We checked the clearances and they pretty good. And uh, now you will have different clearances pretty much if you put these in dry. Because once they soak transmission fluid up in them, they do frail. The friction material and stuff does. It does take up a lot of your clearance issues. So if they're not fitting, check and make sure you soaked your clutches for at least 30 to an hour. 30 minutes to an hour, sometimes overnight. Now, uh, on the outside of your drum, as you can see, this is a little rough. Usually I would replace these, but this and then mostly just mutt band left on it and stuff. So what we're gonna do is hit it with sandpaper. You wanna do yours the same way. Big, even sheet, just keep going around in it. You don't wanna sand in one spot. Just uh, freshen it up with some 320 and then go down to about 800. And once you get down to about 800, do a crisscross pattern. But this video is pretty much on installing your drum. Loading your drum, not installing it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got like 20,000 things going on at the moment. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe to the video. I hope you liked this video. Be sure to hit that like button down below and uh, subscribe to the channel for more daily content and more videos like this. And then we also do other videos too, so give the channel a check. And until next time, I'll see you then.